2005 Acura TL starter replacement. I'm Brian Essick from How To Automotive. I'm gonna walk you through the process of changing the starter out. So we need to get started by removing this uh, plastic cover here and underneath is the battery we're gonna And remove. to get this cover off, all you're gonna do is pull, put your, like your thumb here and pull straight up here. And then right here at the front of it, there's gonna be a couple clips. So you're gonna pull straight up right here. They have these little rubber grommets that mount into here. So you're just gonna pull it and lift it straight off. Now you can go ahead and remove your negative cable and your positive cable. Disconnect those and then uh, remove your battery hold down. Now you can lift the battery straight up and out. Now we're gonna remove this plastic little tray that the battery sits in and it has it clipped here with the, the wire. Just pop it off right here and then lift the plastic tray out. So in my case, because I got this cold air intake in the bottom half of the air box has been removed, I don't have to do that. But on yours, you may have to remove the bottom air box. Um, and uh, once you get that removed, then what you can do is, uh, we're gonna try to work around, we're gonna leave the battery tray in, and we're gonna work around it. So what we're gonna do is just connect our electrical connector here, and you unplug it, and then you'll pull this rubber boot back here off and remove the bolt here, the nut that holds the uh, main power cable to the starter. Remove Once that. you get these two removed, then you're gonna remove, if you just maneuver the hose out of your way, you can see the bolt here. So that's a 17 millimeter bolt here, you're gonna remove. And then if you feel below, kind of a blind, but I'll see if I get the camera down there for you guys. So on the bottom of the starter, you can see the 17, another 17 millimeter bolt that you're gonna remove. The easiest right way here. I found to do these is if you remove the bottom bolt by putting a wrench on it, cracking it free and then spinning the bottom bolt out first, and then removing the top bolt here, that I found that's the easiest way to get these out. I wanted to show you guys something that uh, happens quite often when you're working on cars. Is, is it takes a 17 millimeter to get the lower bolt on, on the starter off. But there's not enough room to get a full uh, ratchet in there to, to maneuver it. So what I tried first, and if you're lucky, you can use, if it's not too tight, you can put a 17 millimeter shorty wrench on there like this and you can crack the bolt free. But in my case, it's extremely tight and I can't do it. So, <clears throat> so I tried a couple techniques. I put a, um, a longer wrench on it like this and struck the top of it with a hammer. And um, you gotta be careful not to slip off and hit the lower hose if you do this. But, uh, but um, that didn't work. So then I used my burp gun, my uh, impact gun here. And I uh, with a pickle fork on the end of it and on the hose on it kind of like so and uh, that didn't want to break the frame break it free so what I'm gonna have to do I also tried a, um, a shorty ratchet with, with this on it and I actually broke the, with the gears and the ratchet so I'm gonna have to warranty it out so these type of things happen when you do when you do job so in this case now <clears throat> for the best way for me to tackle getting to this bolt is um, is to remove this battery tray so if you run across this, you may have to remove your battery tray also. So it's just gonna be held on by a couple bolts here in the corners. And then from underneath here, this way, you can feel them. You have to feel for them though. But so basically you'll, you'll this bracket here that's underneath that goes down at an angle like this. So you have to feel for the bolts and there's two bolts, one here and then one a little further towards the firewall right here. You can see my fingers down here. There's another bolt here. So you remove this, this bolt, this bolt, and the uh, bolts in the corner and then also this has a little wire loom catch for the uh, battery cable you can remove the 10 millimeter corner here and then the battery tray the bottom half of the tray will come out and then with the, with that room then you can get uh, long extensions in there and you can get really long breaker bars or whatever you need to break the bolts free so the next thing you'll see you'll, this will be removed okay to get to the bolt that's under here and in the back corner over here i just use a uh, a ratchet with an extension like this and kind of reached under like so and got to it and then to get to the um, the bolt that's in this corner here if you take the air snorkel here and you pull straight up it'll come out and then if you look right right next to the right here you can see the uh, bolt and then I'm just going to use a, uh, a quarter inch ratchet like this with a long extension and a wobbly to get to this bolt here and you also may have a few wire loom uh, connectors. You just squeeze these and push them off if, you're, if you have any of them connected to your battery tray. So now that I got the battery tray out, you can see where the two bolts went. So the, the two on the top are here and then the two underneath are here. And then they mount right down there on the, on the frame. And this, when you get to this bolt right here, this is rubber so you can bend it out of your way to get to the bolts. And, 
Now that those bolts is out, now you can get a uh, long extension. You can even get a, probably get an impact gun in here. There's enough room in here now to get to the bottom bolt. If you need a, a long extension with a long breaker bar to come up here, whatever it, it takes to uh, crack that bolt free, and then you remove this bolt, and then the whole starter will come out. Okay, once you get the bottom bolt out, and you remove the top bolt, you can maneuver the whole starter out of the car. Now you're just gonna match up your old starter with your new starter. Everything checks out. You're gonna go ahead and reposition it back into the uh, And now that you reposition the starter back in the car, go ahead and start the top bolt. And then with the bolt just started and still loose, start the bottom bolt. And then what I like to do is I like to hold it, hold it in place with one hand and use an air ratchet to run it in. If you don't have an air ratchet, just run it in snug and just make sure that you, when you tighten it, it's not cocked like that. So you don't want it cocked when you tighten one bottom and half. You want it to sit flush like, like that before you um, tighten it up. So when you just tighten the bolts down uh, by feel. Now that the starter's bolted up, now you can go ahead and, uh, and hook up the main power wire for your uh, battery cable. Remember not to over tighten this, this is just brass. So just put it up. Put it on snug and tighten it to a snug and then slip on your new your your um, your signal wire so now that the starter is completely bolted back up we'll go ahead and slip our uh, battery tray back into place and um, i like to start the the top bolts first so we'll put it back into place here and we'll we'll just start the bolts and leave them loose and then we'll we'll uh, put the two bottom bolts on and once they're all four bolts are on it, then we tighten the bottom bolts first and then the top two bolts. So after reinstalling your battery tray and you got all the, the wire loom brackets remounted, if yours was a uh, stock in stock form and didn't have the cold air intake system, you would put the lower box down first and then go ahead and put your uh, air cleaner assembly in. After you got that done, the next step would be to put our, our bottom tray back in. So you would slip that back into place. They have these little rubber or these little nipples here that mount in the holes here and here so you'll get that positioned in place and then you would if you uh, pop out any wire loom holders like this one here you pop those back into place and then set your battery back in so after getting your battery in, in installed uh, and go ahead and put your cables on and tighten down install your uh, battery hold down and after that the last step would be is to install the uh, cover that goes over the battery and that will complete the uh, starter replacement on a 2005 Acura TL with the uh, 3.5 liter. Uh, I'm Brian Esser from How To Automotive. I'd like to thank you guys for watching my videos. And I wanted to let you guys know that um, if you go to howtoautomotive.com, you can purchase tools and products that you see in the videos. And I'd like to thank you again for watching.